There's a few lakes out in the middle of this map here, and a lot of people don't know about them. Well, today, we're going to be checking them out. All right, we just got to our first location here, and as you can see, we got a couple of bucks right here, but look how small this little lake is. It is maybe like 50 yards wide and 30 yards long. So, yeah, it's just a very small spot, and it is right here. But we got three bucks here that we want to try and get, including this one. That is right here at about 50 yards out from us. So we're going to see if we can't get all three of these bucks. Or maybe just one. Oh my god, that thing bolted. Did we get... We literally only got one buck. Well, you know what they say, you can't get them all every time. But we did get one. That's all right, now we're heading to the next spot here. Now this next spot, I've never seen whitetail here, but there's no reason why they shouldn't be here. If we got whitetail here, and we got whitetail here, then they definitely should be here as well. We literally got turkeys flying everywhere. We definitely got one. It's a female. There's a doe there. That may be him right behind that tree. Nonetheless, we're for surely going to go for a shot on this buck right here. And if the other buck kicks up, we may get a shot at him. Alright, perfect shot, and... I am not seeing any other bucks. Alright, here's our 180 plus whitetail buck. Nice double lung shot, 182. And that was a 187 yard shot. Pretty good mass on him as well. Oh, look what we got right there. A nice red fox. So since we have to go over here anyways, we might as well take down this red fox. Got him. That shot actually may have been a little bit high. All right, but here is our fox. Uh, yeah, our shot was a little bit high. Not a lot. Still ended up getting spine and double lung. Ooh, that may be from the same herd that our bull was in. Look at that. Look at that right there. Nice bull moose bedded out there. Not giant, but not a bad size one. Yeah, we're going to take him down for sure. He's out there at about 400 probably. Uh, yeah, probably close to 400. I was hoping we'd find a massive bull out here. But that one will do for now. All right, here we go. 400 yards, we'll bust out the 338 bolt action rifle. And the shot looked good. It was. Well, he already went down. That shot was 400 yards out there. Not only that, guess what? So this spot here, oh yeah. So this spot only has, no. This spot does have white tail. We gotta check out this spot first. We absolutely gotta check out this spot first. But I definitely wanna mark the location that that bull was at. Is right there. We'll go over there next. We have plenty of time, don't worry. But first, we gotta go down here and check out this amazing whitetail spot. Now, last time we were here, we took down two 200 plus whitetails. Actually, there were two 20 plus whitetails. But unfortunately, we ended up taking down too many whitetails in this area and we lost our zone. All right, we got some whitetail. There we go. Nothing too impressive, but we definitely have a whitetail buck. At this point, a buck is a buck. I'm just glad we have the zone back finally. All right, so let's go for a shot on him. At about 180 out there. Nice shot. And I do believe that's the only buck. All right, here's our eight point buck. 160 and got him right in the spine and neck. Ooh, there we go. Now we got a nice white tail buck. That's another 180 plus right there. And I do believe a bobcat is coming this way, so. Oh, oh no! What the heck just ran into us? You gotta be kidding me. 
I don't think we got him either. Oh. Wait a second. <laughs> what the heck just happened? You gotta be kidding me. Do you guys realize what just happened? We literally were trying to shoot at this buck. And whatever ran right in front of us at the exact moment we took the shot at got smoked. Because that is a vital hit right there. I'm just kind of blown away at that. <laughs> Completely blown away. And yes, it is a moose. And it was a vital hit. But that is something that you don't see every day. It really is. Unfortunately, our buck is long gone at this point, and I don't believe we got him. I don't even know if we hit him or not. I was hoping we at least hit him once, but I don't believe we did. Well, there's our moose. Our moose is piled up right here. Let's find out what happened. <laughs> I mean, come on. 1.78 yards away. But that's got to be a record for the closest animal possible to be able to take down without it taking you out, even though it took us out at the exact same time. I just can't even fathom, like, what just happened. We're shooting at a buck. A beautiful 8-point buck. 180-plus buck over here. And all of a sudden, we take the shot, because it's about to spook from the bobcat. I hear something coming at us, so I knew we had to take a shot quick. Took the shot, and absolutely smoked this moose. All right, so we're back over here trying to find our bull moose that we shot from before. And I believe he was bedded right about here. And we got a moose piled up right over here. There we go. Our shot was 406 yards, and we made a nice left lung shot on that 168 bull with the 338 bolt action rifle. Now, we also got a nice little... Well, we had... How the heck did we get spun around so much here? All right, so we got a nice little pond down over here where there could be some white tail down here. Now this spot I've never been to before. Oh my God, is that a giant bull moose? 203 to 250. So our bear is right there less than 100 yards away from us. And what my goal is, is to stay prone, work our way down this hill, smoke that bear with the recurve and the 700 grain arrows, and then We'll work our way into range of this massive bull moose. But we'll also have to hold a little bit low because we are shooting downwards. That means we're going to have some pretty good elevation to our arrow. And we want to make sure we make a really good shot. That way this bear doesn't make it all the way over to these moose and spook them. So our shot needs to be spot on. That looks good to me. Check the range one more time. 70 yards. There we go. Got a bit of wind pushing to the left, so I'll have to hold a little bit right, but not much. Dude! How did we shoot over the top of that bear at 75 yards? Was it really 75 yards? It wasn't 75 yards, it was 65 yards. Son of a... Well, I guess the good thing is... It didn't spook our big bull. And that's honestly the only thing that really matters to us. It would have been cool to take down this black bear on the way. Yes, it definitely would have. I mean, I still can't believe that we missed that thing three times in a row. You guys! What? No wonder why that one's not blinking. <laughs> ah! We hit him! We hit our bear! I don't even know which shot actually did connect on that bear, but... 
We hit him. Non-vital hit. We're sneaking over here to try and get close to this bull moose. And I looked down and I saw we have hunting pressure here. You know what? I think the reason he didn't spook him is because he must have piled up before he got there. Because he is honestly headed right towards our bull. Look at this. Our bull is right down there. Oh my god. How did it not spook him? What? How the heck did it not spook our bull? He's literally piled up right next to him. Oh, this is not good. I mean, now he's already spooked because we're crouched, but we just went prone now, so he should calm down. <laughs> Look at that bull. Man, is that a heck of a rack. I guess it's a good thing it piled up right where it did because had it went any further, it most likely would have spooked our massive bull. Well, I'd much rather take him as he's bedded, but in this case here, we're not going to be too picky. Well, what we could actually do is sneak right up to that pine tree right there. Crouch up. Oh, hold up. Change of plans. He's moving. He's moving. Oh, what a perfect setup. So if we miss, we're not going to wreck our arrow because it's going to go right into the water. That's awesome. And honestly, we could go for this shot right here. Last time we shot high. But I think if we took the shot right there, it'd be perfect, right? Looking about 75 yards. The wind looks good. I do not want to take a shot right after he picked up his head. I want to take the shot while his head's still down. So when he picks up his head. Oh my God, what a perfect shot. Come on, that was money. No, no. Wow, what a rip, seriously. Well, let's go over here and get this black bear. I mean, it goes to show you that I don't always make perfect shots, but I do think that in that, in that case there, we definitely got robbed. All right, so we got this one on the run and Teston shot it 74 yards out. Now that's actually a pretty good shot. You know what I just thought of? What if we shot this thing in the vertebrae? What if that is why the shot looked really good, but he didn't go down right away? Let's see if we can't find our shot placement. I don't even see the arrow anymore, but I believe it was like right here. All right, let's pick it up. Oh, come on. It was the wind. Dude. It was the wind. Apparently he was quartering away a little bit more than I thought. So we were holding for the heart. Well, I mean, I was actually holding for right here. Let's be real. I was holding for right here. And the wind pushed it about four inches to the right. And just because of that little bit, it costs us from getting a double lung shot to a front shoulder, not even a vital shot on this massive bull. But it would have been a super epic shot. That's why it looked like a perfect shot, because it was right on that front shoulder. I mean, we hit right there. And if it was broadside, then look, look at where that shot would have hit. Even if we hit here, it would have been a perfect shot. But because it was quartering a little bit, we snuck that thing right between the shoulder and the front of that lung. So just barely didn't quite make the shot. But it makes sense. Then we hit it one more time on the run. And that was our second shot with our arrow, actually. 71 yards on the run. Almost made an intestine potential Texas heart shot there. But yeah, massive bull down, 243.8. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.